Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another Vectors lesson. We're going to start off by talking about unit vectors. So to introduce you guys to unit vectors, the first thing I'm going to do is draw a Cartesian plane. So here we have the x-axis and here we have the y-axis. Now if you imagine a vector drawn along the x-axis. So I start from the origin and I draw it to the right hand side along the x-axis with a length of 1. And the length is 1. 1 unit long. Now this red arrow, this vector, is called a unit vector. because its magnitude is only one so it's one unit now we also give it a symbol i is the unit vector along the x-axis so how do you qualify as a unit vector well, the magnitude of it, which is denoted with two vertical lines um, next to the symbol, next to the vector symbol, um, has a magnitude of 1. Okay, uh, another unit vector that you guys need to know is, I'll draw it with a different color is a vector along the y-axis okay so it's going up in the vertical direction it also has a unit has a um, magnitude of one and the symbol for it is j okay j is the unit vector along the y-axis and obviously the magnitude of j is 1 as well. So what's the point of unit vectors? Well based on these unit vectors we can then identify uh, position vectors. So I'm going to draw another Cartesian plane and I'm going to identify a single point on this plane so let's call this point A okay now if I draw a vector from the origin to point A actually just before that I'm gonna give the coordinates of point A so let's say point A is 5 along the x-axis and 4 along the y-axis Okay, and I draw a vector from the origin, which is 0, to point A. And let's just call this uh, vector U. Okay, it doesn't matter whatever the name is. Now, vector U, we can actually express this vector using the unit vectors. So if you remember vector addition, basically any vector can be broken down into its vertical and horizontal components. So the horizontal component of this vector would be along the x-axis. So uh, let's draw it in red again. So if you remember, we have vector i along the x-axis, which has a unit which has a magnitude of 1. So if we multiply i by 6, if we multiply i by 6, then it would travel, oh sorry, not 6, by 5, then it will travel 5 times along the uh, x-axis, okay, which gives us a long vector along the x-axis 5i okay 
And then if we want to express the vertical component of vector u, which is along the y-axis, it will be similarly using the same concept, it will be 4j. So therefore vector u can be written as 5i plus 4j. Okay, so any vector can therefore be expressed using this notation. Okay, now I want you to try to express uh, this vector here, so I'm going to label it as negative 5 and negative 3. So the point from the origin, sorry, an arrow from the origin connecting to this point. So I'm going to call this vector k. Okay, and I want you to write the position vector. I want you to write um, vector k in terms of its unit vectors. Okay, so come back when you're done. Okay, so the position vector k is therefore negative 5i, right, because it's moving to the left. 5 units minus 3j. Okay, so hopefully you wouldn't need any more practice on that. If you really want to practice, I'm going to give you another point. Let's call this um, 10 and negative 6. And let's write a point here and the vector joining this point I'm going to call it vector Q okay so I want you to write down what vector Q is in terms of I and J and therefore it'll be 10i minus 6j okay so hopefully you guys understand uh, position vectors now